Salam students, welcome back. Today let us start a new lesson in political science. Lesson number 7, Urban Administration. Children, Urban Administration means Administration in the Cities. Children, in this lesson we shall learn that Urban Administration, it is required to provide the basic amenities like street lights, garbage collection and water supply and about the role responsibilities and duties of the urban administration in making sure that the city functions smoothly. That is, we shall learn about the role and duties of the ward councillor and about the administrative staff and how does the municipal corporation gets its money. And we shall also learn about a community protest. Children, this lesson we shall learn with the help of a story of four children. Now children, let us begin with this lesson. We know that a city, it is much bigger than a village and it is more spread out. And a city, it has crowded markets, many buses and cars, water and electricity facilities and traffic control and hospitals. Children, have you ever wondered who is responsible for running all this? And do you know how decisions are made? And how the planning is done? And who are the people who do all this work? Yes, these services are run by the urban administration. And the decisions are taken by the urban administrative machinery. And the planning, it is done by a set procedure. And the people who do all these works, they are the officers, officials and they are elected representatives of the civic body. Now children, let us learn more about this. Now children, let us read this interesting story and know more about the urban administration. Children, one lazy Sunday afternoon, Mala and her friends, Shankar, Jahangir and Rehana, they were playing a game of cricket in the street. Who were playing the game of cricket in the street? Mala and her friends. Who were her friends? Shankar, Jahangir and Rehana. So these four children, they were playing cricket in the street. And Shankar had bowled a good over. And although he nearly managed to get Rehana out, but she was still batting. Frustrated, he bowled a short ball and hoped she would hit it for an easy catch. Instead, Rehana hit the ball so hard and so high that the street light broke. So children, who was bowling? Shankar, he was bowling. And who was batting? Rehana was batting. And why did Shankar bowl a short ball? Because he was frustrated and with the hope that Rehana would hit it for an easy catch. But what happened instead? Instead, Rehana, she hit the ball so hard and so high that the street light broke. Then Rehana screamed, Oh no, look what I have done. Shankar said, Yes, we forgot to make a rule that if you break the street light, you are automatically out. But Mala, Jahangir and Rehana, they were more worried about what had happened. And they told Shankar, He'd better stop thinking about the wicket. Children, why did Rehana scream? Rehana screamed because she had broken the street light. And who were more worried about what had happened? Mala, Jahangir and Rehana, they were more worried about what had happened. And Shankar, he was only thinking about the wicket. And last week they had broken Nirmala Mossi's window and they had spent their pocket money to have it replaced. Whose window did they break last week? They broke Nirmala Mossi's window last week. So what they had to do? They had to spend their pocket money to have it replaced. And now would they have to dish out money again from their pockets? But who would they pay this to? And to whom did the lights in the streets belong? And who changed them? So these questions they arose in their minds. Then what did the children do? The children, they ran to Rehana's house, which was the closest. And they ran and told her mother what had happened. And Rehana's mother, she said that I don't really know these things in great detail. 
but i do know that it is a municipal corporation of the city that takes care of replacing lights and the best person to ask would be yasmin khala she just retired from the municipal corporation so she told them to go and ask her and she told rehana to come back home soon and did rehana's mother ask them to go she asked them to go to yasmin khala who had just retired from the municipal corporation and she would be the best person to answer their questions and yasmin khala where did she live she lived in the same lane and she and rehana's mother they were good friends and the children they ran to khala's house and when she opened the door they began to tell her what had happened all at once and when they asked about the street light yasmin khala she laughed and said there is no one person that you can pay the money to children who were good friends yasmin khala and rehana's mother were good friends and when yasmin khala she opened the door what did the children do they began to tell her what had happened all at once and when they asked about the street light then what did yasmin khala do she laughed and said that there is no one person to whom they can pay the money to and there is a big organization called the municipal corporation that takes care of street lights garbage collection water supply keeping the streets and the market clean so children what is municipal corporation municipal corporation it is a big organization that takes care of the street lights garbage collection water supply and they keep the streets and the markets clean then mala said i have heard about the municipal corporation and they have put up signs around the city to inform people about malaria then yasmin khala she said yes you are quite right and she tells them more about the municipal corporation so children what does the municipal corporation take care of it takes care of the street lights and it also takes care of the garbage that has to be collected and to provide safe drinking water and it ensures that the streets and the markets are kept clean and children there are some other tasks that are taken by the municipal corporation that is the municipal corporation it is also responsible for ensuring that diseases do not break out in the city and it also runs schools hospitals dispensaries and it makes gardens and maintains them this means the municipal corporation it is responsible for eradication of diseases like malaria dengue etc and it also helps in running of schools hospitals and dispensaries and in making and maintaining of gardens and parks and children in big cities like pune mumbai etc this is called as a municipal corporation and in smaller towns it is called as a municipal council so children do all the cities have municipal corporation no all the cities they do not have municipal corporations big cities what do they have they have municipal corporation whereas the smaller towns they have municipal council so children these works are done in a big city by a big organization called a municipal corporation whereas in smaller towns it is done by a municipal council now children let us recap what we have learnt in this lesson children today we learnt about urban administration that is one sunday afternoon mala and her friends shankar jahangir and rehana they were playing a game of cricket in the street and while playing rehana she hit the ball so hard and so high that the street light broke so all the children they went to rehana's house and told everything about it to rehana's mother and they asked her to whom they had to pay money for the street lights and rehana's mother she told them that it is the municipal corporation of the city that takes care of replacing lights and she told them to go and ask 
more about the municipal corporation to Yasmin Khala who had just retired from the municipal corporation and Yasmin Khala told them that there is no one person to whom they can pay the money to there is a big organization called the municipal corporation that takes care of the street lights garbage collection water supply and they keep the streets and the market clean and the municipal corporation it is also responsible for ensuring that diseases do not break out in the city and it also runs schools hospitals and dispensaries and makes gardens and maintains them and she told them that in a big city like pune it is called a municipal corporation and in smaller towns it is called a municipal council now children let's have a quiz multiple choice questions first one which are the other tasks of a municipal corporation a to run the school b to run hospitals c all of these what's the correct option correct all of these the other tasks of a municipal corporation are to run the school and to run hospitals second one which game were mala and her friends playing a cricket b hockey c football what's the correct option correct it is a cricket mala and her friends were playing cricket third one dash retired from the municipal corporation a nirmala b rehana c yasmin khala what's the correct answer correct c yasmin khala yasmin khala retired from the municipal corporation so children today we have learned about the works that are done by the municipal corporation we shall learn more about the municipal corporation and about the urban administration in our next class till then goodbye children